first crash on my longboard that I got yesterday. Cleaned up my hand a little bit. No worse for the wear. So I'm down here under this really creepy bridge where the shopping cart is down in the water. I have an ND1000 on which is a 10 stop filter. It's so dark you can't even like look through it and see through it. I'm going to take this, we're going to do ISO 500, F stops at F4, it's a 30 second exposure. I also have a timer set so it's a 5 second delay so when I hit the shutter it waits 5 seconds and then it takes the picture and that eliminates any possibility of like camera shake or anything like that for me pressing the shutter since I don't have a, a release. So I'm going to take this and uh, show you what it looks like. I don't know if that really accomplished what I wanted to. Nothing else. You guys got to see me fall. So that's always fun. Mom's going to be pissed that I'm not wearing a helmet. Sorry mom. So I found this other little spot on top of a bridge this time and I forgot to mention one of the most important things that you need for a long exposure shot and that is a tripod. A good steady tripod so you don't get any shake or blur or anything when you're doing a long exposure because that's the whole point of a long exposure is to find something that is in motion but also something that is completely still so you get that contrast. And one of my favorite examples of that is, of course, like a river or a stream that has rocks coming out of it because you're gonna get that, that motion blur in the water, but those rocks are gonna stay completely still. I'm at 16 millimeters, so it's, it's wide. My f-stop, I got up to 5.6. My ISO, I got back down to 125, so we're gonna avoid a little bit more of that grain. And I'm doing a 25 second exposure, so I'll let you take a look at this and yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of what you can do with a, a long exposure shot with the right filter, tripod, and the right settings. So if you have any questions, let me know, and uh, we'll see you next time.